Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, today, uh, we are going to be updating the tire pressure threshold um, for the TPMS sensors. So if you've done a lift uh, or changed tires, bigger tires running lower pressure, wider tires running lower pressure, uh, rather than having the truck beep at you every time you turn it on, we're going to update that uh, pressure threshold. So uh, for me and my truck, um, you really only need alpha OBD to do this and the tire pressure you want to set it to. <clears throat> and then a um, security bypass module from Coad Tech. You do not need um, the four digit pin from the dealer as far as I can tell, I haven't needed it. I've done it a couple of times just to see if I would need the pin and so far I haven't needed it. A um, little strange, I know, you know, fourth gen trucks I've seen need it. So let me know in the comments below if you guys need it or if you don't, um, but for me, it's been updating fine. Uh, so without further ado, we'll go ahead and jump right into this process. Uh, to go ahead and get this uh, pressure threshold changed. Okay, I thought I'd start the video off showing where we're starting from. Right now, it's set the pressure threshold to 65. Uh, that's front and rear, that's just stock. And I got the TPMS light on. Um, or is it? There. So, uh, we're gonna go ahead and shut the truck off. <clears throat> Come over here, got Alpha OBD open. And right now, we're not connected to anything, but we are uh, running a USB a cable to my OBD2 port, uh, which is also connected to the security bypass cable. So first, <clears throat> we're gonna go ahead and put the ignition and accessory. Come over here and select uh, body computer from the drop down menu um, and the start screen there. Uh, again, I've got the Dodge Ram 2500. If you got different truck, different vehicle, select your vehicle. Uh, go to body computer and then select your year here and go ahead and hit connect. You'll see at the top, attempting to connect and connected. We're going to go over to the active diagnostic screen and type in update. And this will be update pressure thresholds down here. That's the procedure we want. Go ahead and come down here and choose your pressure. So for me, uh, for Carly, they recommend running 45 front and 40 rear, so that's exactly what we're gonna do. 45 front, and then choose the rear pressure next. 40 rear. Go ahead and read the instructions on the procedure. Um, that's about it. Go ahead and hit start. So right now it says the option is set currently as maximum inflation front and rear 65. Go ahead and hit next and wait. There we go, procedure completed. So go ahead and hit to the top here, go ahead and hit back to the start section and then hit disconnect. We are now disconnected. We're gonna ahead and cycle the ignition And turn on, let's see how this worked out for us. All right, so pressures are a little bit uneven. You gotta fix that. But as you can see, the uh, pressure light uh, over here that was there is no longer there. And I'm no longer getting any issues at all um, when it comes to tire pressure. So all you need to do is Alpha OBD, uh, Ram 2500, body computer, active diagnostic, update pressure thresholds, cycle your ignition, and you are good to go for 5th gen Ram 2500s. All right guys, just to recap, uh, all you need is Alpha OBD, uh, security bypass module from Coad Tech, a uh, USB connector or something similar to connect your laptop or device to the truck. Uh, and then uh, run the procedure. Uh, it's the body control module that you connect to and you're just gonna update those pressure thresholds. Uh, again, you may need the four digit pin from the dealer, but that was not something I needed. Uh, it updated just fine. And um, that, that's really all there is to it. So if you guys found this video helpful, uh, if you wanna see more content on this channel like that, 
then subscribe, turn notifications on, and as always, stay tuned for more. Thank you.